Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lukes, a chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. In this lesson for our engineering economics course, we're going to be looking at the gradient series. Now this one is not in your textbook, but sometimes it shows up on things like the FE exam. What this is is a series of annual payments, but each year the payment grows by a fixed amount g. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to break this up into a base amount or the annuity. Okay, so $100 for instance here. And then there's growth here of $25 each time you make another payment. So the base amount is a is the annuity amount 100 and then we have a growth or a gradient of $25 per time period. In the second example, the base amount, we start with $2,000 every time, but we pay $500 less each time. So the gradient amount is a negative 500. If you split these apart, as this diagram shows, you have an annuity minus, in this case, the gradient, and the sum of these two is equal to the original. This table, taken from a different textbook, shows what happens for formulas using the gradient. Now you will see that these are much more complex to calculate than are ones for future value, present value, and a simple annuity, but it's easier than going through and doing these for each individual payment. So this is another set of formulas that you may wish to maybe program into your calculator and so forth. So let's look at this as an example. Again, let's think about your personal retirement. So you anticipate that you're going to need $100,000 per year once you retire. Um, but you also figure that eh, with inflation, we're going to be talking about that soon. But with inflation, you figure you're going to need more than that. So I think I need $2,000 extra every year. Okay, so the first year I need $100,000. The next year I'm going to need $102,000. Then $104,000. And I'm going to need to do this for our 30-year retirement. How much money do I need to have saved in order for me to retire like this? And we're going to do this based on the 6% per annum retirement or interest rate. So we've got the interest rate is 0 0.06. I'm doing this for an investment of 30 years. And I have a base amount of $100,000 for my annuity and a gradient or growth of $2,000 per year. So if I want to know the value that I need to have at the beginning of this retirement period, so the beginning of the period is the present for this problem, whenever you're not sure, just draw yourself a cash flow diagram and the present value is going to be on this side and the future value is on this side. And so when things start getting a little twisted in your mind about whether or not you're looking for present or future, just look on the number line and see, am I trying to go to the left of the screen or to the right of the screen? And that's going to determine whether it's a P or an F problem. So I want to know the present value. I have $100,000. And that's an annuity for 30 years. And then I have an additional growth factor of $2,000 per year. So that's a gradient series, so P over G, but the same interest rate, same period of time. So the sum of these is going to get me my present value. Now, if you use the formulas on the previous screen, it 
the present value for the simple annuity is one point, almost four million dollars. The amount I need for this growth, I need an extra 285,000. And so the present value or the principal I need to have at the beginning of this retirement period would be 1.661 million. Let me just rewrite that. $200.69. And you can pause and go through the calculations with the formulas on your own, but you should get these same amounts. So this is a way that you can use these gradient series in order to work problems. So in the next lesson, what we're going to do is we are going to address this issue of inflation and how can we deal with that. Thank you very much for your time.